Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Parental discretion is advised. Oh, a little bit of feedback. Hey, it is the Raw Wrap-Up. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here. It is Monday night. We are live from the Sorgatron Media Studios here in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, with you talking Monday Night Raw. And with me, as typical, is on the line from Poughkeepsie, New York. It is our friend, Mad Mike. Sorg, um, what, what a raw. I, I have questions. I hope you have answers. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't wait to hear your questions. I, well, well, let's get into it. But, but of course, check out everything wrestlingmayhemshow.com. A lot of interviews and things going on, especially this week. We're talking with a lot of our friends. We had Katie, uh, backstage Dutters, uh, and uh, producer Missy was on hand, uh, for the uh, Walter White Wrestling Three. Please go check out the. We're doing one a day until we're through all the interviews. It's going to run through this Sunday. Uh, over at uh, uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com and IndieWrestling.us. A lot of stuff going on. And, of course, uh, we'll have uh, uh, some our regular Wrestling Mayhem Show Tuesdays at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time right here on this Facebook channel if you're joining us over here on Wrestling Mayhem Show. So, Mike, what are these questions that you may have? All right. How many Money in the Bank matches are there going to be? I think two. Isn't there? Okay. I'm assuming one for men and one for women, right? Right. Okay. How many fucking people are going to be in these matches? Because there were a lot of people who wanted to be in qualifying matches tonight. Yeah. And then you have a qualifying match. And then, um, I mean, we've had as many as, like, what, eight people in these matches? Is that right? Yeah, but... I'm not saying it's right. <laughs> But, like, we have tag teams wanting to be in this shit. Yeah, that, that was weird. I, I'm cur- curious how Brizango is supposed to be f- factored into this whole situation. Like, don't get me wrong. If I had a choice between Brizango being in the Money in the Bank ladder match and the two qualifiers we have, I'd choose Brizango. No, oh, absolutely. So uh, let's narrow it down. So who did qualify tonight? Well, we, we, we've got uh, Mr. Balor, mm-hmm. Mr. Finn Balor. Um,. Thankfully, uh, because it looks like Roman is going to be distracted by a certain modern day Maharaja mm-hmm. that, that he's literally going to destroy. Gives him something to do. Sure. Whatever. I don't care about Roman Reigns anymore. Um, and we have Braun, who will probably not win the match because he doesn't need it. No, but it give him a reason to take him on at SummerSlam. That's not happening. No, you, you we're still not going with that with uh with with Brock. No, I still think it's Brock and Lashley. Mm. That feels like a jump to me. That really feels like a jump to me. Oh, by the way, it's, it's MMA guys. It's the MMA yeah. fest. Yeah. By the way, uh, I did you did you nice did you like the nice get to know Lashley segment tonight? I feel like it was long enough. It. They had to have no. had a dark match for the local uh, for the local crowd. Fucking hate it, Zork. <laughs> Um, cause guess what? We know Bobby Lashley. Uh, I forgot no, about no. Bobby. It's been ten years. Not for me, sore. I know not for you, not but for me. But TNA doesn't exist to these guys. And apparently, neither does WWE, because we know who Lashley is. Mm-hmm. No, they just don't want to put Lashley in a one-on-one match. That's a reminder, though. No. no. I still don't know why he's on Raw. Hey, did you know he was a headliner at WrestleMania with nobody else in the match? Yeah, there is definitely no one else involved in that match. No, 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 and, no. But, see, the funny thing is about that match, out of the mm, five principal people involved in that match, he was the least popular. <laughs> he kind of was. I he like, was the least popular. And I don't hate Bobby Lashley. I, we were huge fans of Bobby Lashley back in the day on this show. Nope. 
nope, not this guy. Okay, 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 okay. The rest of us had a lot of fun talking about Bobby Lashley. You might not have even been on the show at that point. Oh, no, I was. You were at that point? I mean, it was, was 10 years I, ago. I did not like Bobby Lashley. Was... I always saw him as Black Tista. <laughs> well, that's actually how we saw him, too. But yeah, I know. know but but I, in a I, fun I... way. Nope. Nope. Hard pass. <laughs> Hard pass. Uh, I've always had a hard pass on Bobby Lashley. Uh, it's just it's the headband era. I don't know. I don't know what yeah, that is. No, no, I he doesn't need a headband. He has no hair. That's what sweatbands are for. No, no. They're for they're for pushing up the hair because that's where sweat collects. That's why you have sweatpants. Isn't it just for just sweat? I mean, the sweat is not happening on his forehead okay, and trickling but, down. But it doesn't really help if you water yourself down for a match. Uh, well, okay. Okay. Oh, you got me there. <laughs> it's, it's like but it's Goldberg a wearing flame retardant clothing when he's going to get doused by sprinklers. <laughs> like, okay. why would you? Why would you wouldn't need to do one if you did the other? A little late on cashing in on Marvel. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. you, uh, that's right. You call him Black Tista. We called him Black Lesnar. Yeah, you called him Black Lesnar. That's he's right. Bla he's Black Tista because Brock Lesnar at least was interesting. Bobby Lashley is not interesting. Bobby right. Lashley, I'm sure, is a nice guy. He is not interesting. Super he's, nice guy. He, he is a charisma That's what made void. him so much fun because he like talking. You're just like, this guy, like, I'm not scared of this guy because he was so but, pleasant and smiled all but, the time. But Sorg, Sorg, here, here's the thing. If we want a guy like that who's super athletic, super muscular, super strong, super nice guy, we have Apollo Crews. <laughs> yes, but he has no MMA career. I think he actually does. Really? I thought he did. Uha Nation? I thought he did. I have never seen a Uha Nation match. I need to go back and see, like, because I mean, it's, he's definitely one of those guys that that definitely like got molded into the WWE and didn't really. You know, I mean, it is whatever it is, right? Um, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, Alex Miller's asking about uh, Lucha Underground reveal trailer this week Wednesday. Maybe we should have a watch party for the trailer. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, I. I'd be honestly on board. Uh, what are the chances that the Super 8 I'm staying in in Michigan is going to have uh, L Ray Network? Uh, Not likely. Not, not likely. likely at all. Unlikely. <laughs> Unlikely, Sorg. <laughs> Anyways, what else happened? In that? Well, there was some good wrestling. There were some fun moments and everything. I thought the women's triple threat was pretty good. But again, you know, it is, it's kind of a slog as usual. I was doing some work while we were going through this. Um, uh, Seth bringing the IC uh, belt uh, open open challenge. I thought that was fun. Uh, hold on, Sorg. Uh, yeah, oh, Sorg. Yeah? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, we have to ban Alex Miller from the chat. Why do we have to ban Alex Miller? <laughs> we have to ban Alex Miller from the chat. Oh, oh! I just realized what that we hashtag don't, we means. We don't take kindly of your type around here, <laughs> Capitals fans. You're gonna get swept by the lightning, motherfuckers. Sorry. Sorry. Kunis is going to score 38 goals. It's going to be great. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sorg. You were saying about women wrestling? Women's wrestling? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, know we had some great matches tonight, and we're setting up for Money in the Bank. But I don't know. I I, I feel like I'm getting residual. Um, I don't care off of last night's pay per view. Oh man, they're in such a holding pattern because now every week is just going to be qualifying matches, and there's not going to be any stories. For, and we have a whole six, five, six weeks between on this one. And again, I don't know how many people are going to be in each of these matches. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't said. Tina said, I know Tina said six in the chat. Ain't no way it's going to be fucking six. Mm. Ain't no way it's going to be six. Oh, Tina's actually in our, in our, uh, yeah, Tina's in the right time zone. Tina's in our time zone? Wow. T T Tina's in the Bianca Belair time zone. You know why? Because it's the EST, baby! <laughs> I'm just going to let you have that one. Uh, <laughs> I brought it around. I brought it around. You know, I we, brought it all the way around. If we yell loud enough, she probably can't hear us out there. She so. might be able to. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tina, Tina, Um, if you're in D.C. right now, watch out for asshole Capital fans. Mm -hmm. They will burn that city to the ground more than some guy who's not affiliated with Bobby Lashley is all ever could. Mm, yeah, more than Canada did the White House. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, That's man. only fresh um, on my head because of Super Troopers, too. Yeah. 
Uh, so, but Sorg, that that women's triple threat we had. Why aren't all of those women in the? Money I know. Like You're just like why? Why? Why aren't all of like we couldn't have thrown like Ember Moon versus Mickey James and Sarah Logan? No, not Sarah. Lo- yeah, Sarah Logan. We couldn't have done that yeah. instead. Seriously. Like, because Sasha and Ruby should both be in it. They they should both be in it. Like. I, I, how many people are going to be in the women's money in the bank match? Like, is there going to be a last chance battle royal? It, it feels like there probably will be, right? Uh, or, you know, it, 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 they got to stretch this out, so it's going to take you half of the time for them to get everybody qualified, and then you take the other half of the time of uh, these guys interacting in different matches. You're going to fill half the show with everybody that's in money in the bank, right? Uh, going back and forth, so I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this being, you know, I, I don't think we need three Money in the Bank matches. That doesn't work, but I don't know about this being like a Royal Rumble. And See, you, you, I, I have a funny feeling we're getting a men's Raw Money in the Bank match and a men's SmackDown one. You think? I, I have a bad feeling about it. I have a bad feeling. Cause I, I mean, I mean, last night's show is not a good sign. No, for for the the brands. No, coming back it's together. not at all. It's 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 not a good sign in general. No, for pretty much anything that happened. Yeah, no, no, it's it's been a very lackluster post mania. Oh, it's yeah, it, it it has been. Why does post to, to say the least? Post mania feels like late December. Because there's no off season, and there really should be. <laughs> Yeah, even though we have to tell Coach. Coach, by the way, you know, the one thing I've been enjoying uh, is uh, everybody having to remind Coach every week that this isn't ESPN. Oh, Coach Coach just needs to go back to doing the 3 a.m. Sports Center show. <laughs> is that the one he did? Yeah. yeah. Alex said that there are three ladder matches. Oof. Oof. Maybe the, Say, other, one, maybe the other one will is... be a tag team one. <laughs> Hmm. Mm. I'd actually be on board for that. They have enough tag teams to do that. Absolutely. And and honestly, you know who would be great? Kevin and Sammy winning tag team money in the bank. Oh, yes. That'd be great. Kevin and Sammy winning tag team money in the bank so that when Daniel Bryan wins the tag titles, they can just go back over there and screw him over again. <laughs> But again, I'm doing writing, and we don't do that in WWE. No, no, we, no, no. We, no. Don't, we don't do that. The only writing that they have in the writer's room is, get Roman over, damn it. Put him against a foreigner. I don't care. He's Canadian, sir. I don't give a crap. That's that's the whole point. That's the whole point. They're, they're, just, they're just going to pe- keep playing Roman against lower and lower tier heels until someone finally cheers him. And guess what? It's not going to happen. <laughs> You're going to hear Let's Go Gender Chance next week. I will gare Ron T this. That depends where they at. I Also, I think the chance going to be don't hinder gender. Okay. I'm, that too. That too. I'm telling you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, well, we did have our share of horrible, why horrible chances. Couldn't it have been last Roman night. that got injured instead of Dean? Oh no, you you can't wish an injury. I'm not wishing an injury. I'm just playing a what if game. Mm. <laughs> I'm just playing a what in what in game. Yeah, Champa's Champa's not winning money in the bank, Alex. Cash in on Gargano for what? Just for being Gargano? Yeah, I guess. Oh, Tina says they're in London next week. You know what Ooh. that means? Free team draw. It's going to suck. Do, do, do. And they're definitely going to cheer for gender next week if they're in London. <laughs> yeah, that is a very Indian they're, population over there. Very Indian centric. It's, al- it's also very smarky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're definitely not cheering for Roman next week. And, and the chants always have a funny accent. I'm pretty sure Roman Reigns would still get less than a 50 50 split. In his house. <laughs> his, da- his daughter is his worst fan. <laughs> his, daughter, his daughter is just like, I like Sammy Zane. 
Who was it? Who was it that came back and was pissed off? Was it was it Kevin Owens that was really pissed off that his son had a, a like a, was a big John Cena fan? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm trying. I, I I'm literally. I don't remember last time I've actually had to go to the results to see if there was anything else interesting that had popped up. Um, I, I did miss the there first. There was a whole lot of nothing. I mean, I, I laugh every time I see the Lone Wolf Baron Corbin teaming up with the Revival. Um, I, yeah, it's nice to see the Revival actually get a win, mm-hmm. even though they weren't literally involved in the win. But Bobby, like literally, the headline is Bobby Lashley reveals his family history. Yeah, no one, no one fucking cares. I mean, and, and, and to showcase his ECW title win in the worst pay per view in WWE history. Um. Uh. What What the hell is it called? December to dismember. December to dismember. Oof. Oof. Um. Yeah. Like uh, honestly, can we just have Vince go to the XFL? <laughs> just start booking the XFL now, so we can get the old senile man out of the room. The gif. The gif last night during the pay per view where uh, it's Vince from the XFL press conference saying, uh, it's hard to watch a three to three and a half hour uh, <laughs> sporting events. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to go clean the palate, cleanse the palate and uh, watch some catch up on last week's NXT that I haven't watched yet, I guess, Mike. Mike, how much of Raw was watchable tonight? Oh, oh you don't want to know. I'm going on a flat too. You're insane. You're absolutely fucking insane. 145. <laughs> no, there was good matches. If you're getting into it, the matches were great. I, I can see great matches literally everywhere. Okay. Literally every promotion. I know. You need the even, dressing around it. Yes. Literally every promotion has great matches. From Raw, a flagship show, I expect more. An hour flat. An hour. I expect more. I expect more. Building coming up coming off a of pay per view, building up to money in the bank. This gave absolutely nothing. Gave you nothing. This gave absolutely nothing. That's a shame. That's a shame. Uh let us know in the chat room. Uh, what you know, what how much do you think it was watchable tonight? Um, let's see. It looks like there's a few of you guys still out there. Thanks a lot. Uh, Tina and Alex and Brandon for hanging out in the chat. Uh, and Wheels out there as well. Hello. Um, no, it was, uh, yeah, it, it really is kind of a lackluster raw. It, it is kind of strange. Um, but I don't know. We got SmackDown. Let's see how they do tomorrow night, right? There are so many people who came to Raw that should be heels that are not heels. Mm-hmm. Do you know the only time Bobby Lashley was sort of interesting? When he was a heel on Impact. And not like, something that I've witnessed either. But, but yeah, but see, he was sort of interesting then. He was kind of okay. But they can't do that in WWE because they already have a jerk face MMA guy. Guess who that is? Oh, wait, he's not on the show and he never will be. Speaking of not on the show, where was Ronda Rousey? I just was thinking about that. <laughs> you brought that to my mind She's too. on the show every week, Sorg. Brandon's she going an hour 30. Matches. Brandon's- 20 minute matches every week. No special treatment. So, do you know what the best thing about Raw was tonight? I'm sorry. I know I cut you. Brandon, thank you. An hour 30. I still think or, that's too long. Or maybe it's a minute 30. A minute 30. Or maybe a minute 30. Okay. Okay. I'll grant that. <laughs> you know what the best thing was tonight, Sorg? Did you see the WWE themed commercial? Hmm. Brizongo did a CarMax commercial. Dude, I came back from like a bathroom break and saw like the end of that. It was so good. I didn't get to see it. <laughs> Why are these two not doing more? Is it because they're too over? Because that's everyone's problem in WWE that's not named Roman fucking Reigns. Yeah, yeah. Like, the reason Kevin and Sammy aren't champions, they're too over. The reason Brazongo aren't champions, they're too over. I don't the buy it. The reason Finn Balor isn't a champion, he's too over. Like... I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I buy it? I buy it? Look at that main event last night. I know someone who was there. <laughs> there were thousands of people leaving in the stands. Yeah thousands of people during the match 
Not at the end of the match, during the match. It's like they did. It, it, it's like nobody told them it wasn't a dark match. It's like watch. It's like. It's like if someone is watching a DC movie and they stay through the credits <laughs> expecting something. It's like reverse. And then there's nothing. Uh, Billy, you know, you get the one, you get the one spoiler alert from Ca with Captain America after the Spider-Man movie. No, no, I'm saying a DC movie because oh, there's, DC. Nothing, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's nothing. There's like nothing after a DC movie. Uh, Billy, no, Billy, no. Billy's saying that yeah. Brazango and the Carmax commercial was better than Raw, and Alex says he gives it a flat five minutes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the main event started at eleven. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it's like it was eleven o'clock, and the pay per view was on the East Coast. And hey, yep. Sunday is a school night. Yep. So. Yeah, I know. I but and and it's Jersey. Jersey ain't going to be kind to that crowd. No, 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 they're not. They're, they're not like, going to be kind. When Jersey's like, I got shit to do. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, my, Mad Mike. It's may, this is maybe the last time you're on this show for a while. I understand. Yes. Um, I'm not. I don't have confirmation yet, but as of right now, I do start my new job next week. Uh, I'll be working at night's. So you will see me at some point talk about wrestling. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure where. But Sorg, you best believe with Lucha coming back next month, we're going to figure out some way to do the Mid Week War. Yes. A while since I've done that. Oh, 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 that felt good yes, in my throat, yes, Sorg. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I think there needs to be a little bit of prequel for the uh, trailer reveal maybe sometime this week. I, I know I, I'm, I'm traveling uh, to Michigan uh, midweek here, but we'll, we'll get hooked up. If nothing else, you know Matt Collins will do the frame by frame. Um, I think he's recovered by now. But, Sorg, I'm uh, planning on doing a five hour breakdown of the trailer. <laughs> Sorg, I already saw the equivalent of Johnny Mundo holding this the Infinity yes. fucking gauntlet. If Johnny Mundo holds the Infinity gauntlet, he's going to somehow give himself 37 abs. I, uh, yes. Well, in the meantime, if, if you're a regular Facebooker here with us on uh, Monday night, uh, I, I'm going to throw that out here um, uh, to any of you regulars out there, especially if anybody wants to try their hand. I, I think I think in absence of Mad Mike and we'll have Larry uh, from time to time, of course, uh, even he could make tonight because uh, he had a lot of traveling he was doing today. But uh, I, I think I'm going to I think for the wrap up, we're going to we're going to open up the floodgates, Mike. Godspeed, little doodles. <laughs> but if anybody is interested, hit, us, hit me up. Either DM me on the Facebook uh, or uh, even hit up the At Mayhem Show or uh, the, the uh, Good Times at SorgatronMedia.com. And uh, you gotta you got to be on Google Hangout. Uh, you got to have headphones, an okay microphone, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll work through that. And uh, we'll get some people on, and and, and let, let, let's open up a bit. Let's get some different opinions about what's going on raw since since Mike's uh, occupied here on Monday nights here coming up. So uh, I I think it'd be a good a uh, good way to get some new voices in here. Sorg, we already have a lot of volunteers blowing yeah, up. Yeah, I know the half the chat room. We'll have nobody in the chat room because everybody's going to be on the show. No, no one in the chat room has thrown up the Katniss I volunteers tribute gif, and I'm very disappointed in all of you. I don't know if. Can you do that in here? Maybe. I don't know. There is a way to do it. The internet's magic. Billy, Billy, I like you too much to make you come into the studio for Raw. That's that's yourself. <laughs> don't that? do that. That that's a three hour slog. You're not gonna be able to get back. Exactly, exactly. And and I, I leave you all. Thank you, everybody. Mayor Kane says goodbye. We have uh, this is from our friends on the Thrifty Podcast. They gave us this uh, cane uh, figure, a uh, large, tall figure, uh, but he's missing a hand. So um, we're, we're going to have to fashion some sort of um, pirate hook for him or something, maybe. So does Mary Kane come complete with a voice box that says, If I do not cheer Roman Reigns, I will set myself on fire. There you go. Huh. Now we can voice over that. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks, Mad Mike, for your day three. We'll see you guys 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page. 
Uh, you can subscribe to the audio version of the show on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed over on your favorite podcast provider. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Keep it raw.